Hey everyone, my name is Pete Klug. Thank you for checking out this video on data feed driven advertising. It'll include an overview on how data feeds can be used to deliver more relevant and personalized ad experiences across channels, including display dynamic creative and search shopping campaigns. The focus will be primarily for retail advertisers, but data feeds can be used to deliver more personalized ad experiences for any vertical. Consumers are demanding more relevant ad experiences, and advertisers understand this. In a recent survey, advertisers were asked to rank their top three digital-related areas of priority for 2017. Targeting and personalization was ranked in the top three by 46% of advertisers. Consumers are demanding more relevant ad experiences. And it's not just online. When we talk about omnichannel advertising, we're often, at least in the ad tech industry, we're often talking about online advertising channels. But advertisers are also delivering offline marketing experiences. For example, in direct mail, they're doing uh, circular ads, retailers are, or uh, catalog mailers. So they're doing all these offline marketing programs as well. And they should be delivering relevant and consistent experiences across all, all channels, including offline and online. Offline marketing files also include valuable data that can, can be used to personalize the online experience. So an advertiser may have an offline product catalog. They may have customer files, CRM files. They may be doing email marketing, have an email marketing list. You know, retailers are doing circular ad advertising. Uh, they're either inserted in newspapers or maybe they're being mailed. They're doing catalog mailers, direct mail. They may maybe do TV advertising where they have media plans with uh, geographic targeting information like geo-based spot buys. All that can be used to personalize the online ad experience. So what is, what is a data feed? So when you, when you think about a data feed, you can just think of uh, like an Excel file that includes data um, that can be used to trigger content or personalize the online ad experience. So, so the most common one that we think about is the product catalog for retail. And there's an example here uh, below. So it includes information like the product SKU, the name of the product, the brand, category, model. It could have pricing, promotional offers, links to images. All that information can be in this file. And, and again, you can think of it as an Excel file, uh, typically be saved as a text or XML file. We can now use this to personalize uh, the online ad experience. Other types of data feed data feeds may include marketing files. Like we mentioned, it could be a direct mail file that has offers that were mailed into specific zip codes or you know, email campaign files that have an email address with offers associated. The data feeds uh, can be delivered directly to your advertising platform to personalize the ad experience. Or in the case of uh, search advertising, a customer typically would upload their data feed into the Google, Google Merchant Center or uh, the Bing Merchant Center. So the, the most common use case that I mentioned is, is, is taking a product catalog and using it to deliver more relevant experiences across channels. Uh, so you have search shopping campaigns, display dynamic creative, and you can even do dynamic uh, ads on, on Facebook. So you have this product catalog that includes information like product SKU, product description, price, you have links to images, all kinds of information, whatever you want including include in the product feed. That can be used to power search shopping ads on, on Google and, and Bing. And these are ads that an advertiser bids on. So instead of bidding on uh, keywords like you typically would with uh, Google AdWords or Bing, you would be bidding on product groups and based on your bid amount, uh, the search engine would um, determine where your ad is placed. The same product feed can be used for display dynamic creative optimization. So you can now pull all the information from the product feed and use it to more, better personalize the display ad. And you can use the data feed for not only product retargeting that, hey, you, you saw this specific product on advertiser site. Now you're going to see that same product price information pulled from the, from the product catalog, from the data feed, uh, pulled into the ad as you're surfing around the web. 
but you can also capture things like uh, product purchase and use that to deliver cross sell and upsell or even loyalty type type offers. Lastly, you can use that that product catalog data feed to power uh, social dynamic uh, product ads. So for advertisers that are performance based, like many retailers care about their cost per acquisition and the ROI of their marketing campaigns, this gives you a very powerful lower funnel combination across search, display, social, and, and other channels. These are some of the most, most common. So here's a little bit more uh, on the search shopping campaigns and an example on Google. So you may go on Google, you search for something like a laptop, and this on the left-hand side is what, what you might see. So instead of the typical search text ads, you actually get these image ads with product, price, and, and other information. Um, so typically these days, people are searching and researching products on their mobile device. They may purchase on their mobile device, desktop, or even go in the store. These ads appear uh, across all, all devices. If a user clicks the ad, you get to see even more granular information and search in different, different ways. So both Google and Bing uh, have this. And an advertiser can just uh, use their product catalog data feed to, to power this, to deliver these ads uh, across, across uh, Google and Bing. In addition, you can use that same product feed to power dynamic creative ads. So the, the most common use case is you go to an advertiser website, you look at a specific product like this computer here, later you're surfing around the web, you see that same product that you, you saw on the advertiser website, uh, website uh, appearing in ads as you're surfing around the web. Display dynamic creative ads use a product catalog data feed to deliver more relevant experiences within the ad. And this is how it works. A user goes to your website, they look at a specific product, a unique ID, like a product SKU, is saved in your cookie at that time. Later, the DSP is out buying media and they see you out on the web and there's an ad call made to the dynamic creative uh, ad server to deliver an ad. They see in the cookie that you've previously seen this particular product because they see the SKU saved within your cookie now, when that ad is delivered, we pull content from the data feed using that SKU. So anything that's in the data feed can be used to personalize that ad experience. It can be the last product and price that you saw on the advertiser website, but it doesn't have to be. This could be at checkout, we, we capture a SKU of the product you purchased, and instead you see a cross-sell offer, or an upsell offer, or a loyalty offer. So the data feed is extremely flexible and allows an advertiser to deliver more relevant personalized ad experiences. Another example of a data feed uh, could be a CRM file, a customer file, or an email file. So as an advertiser, if you're doing, doing email marketing campaigns, you're uh, delivering messages to your current customers, you can use that same file to deliver relevant consistent experiences in other channels. You can take a file with email addresses and use that on Facebook, uh, custom audiences to deliver ads. And you can use that within Google Customer Match to optimize your, your bids. You can actually change your bid amount uh, for users that fall into that specific audience set. So this way you can deliver more relevant, consistent experiences across those channels. Another example uh, is offline, of offline marketing files that you can use to personalize the ad experience is, is things like direct mail files or circular, uh, circular ads, catalog mailers, even a TV media plan that, uh, for example, for local spot buys that have zip codes in it uh, and offers. You can use that to personalize the online ad experience. So in this, here's an example. So let's say you do, you do uh, weekly uh Ad circulars, you're a retailer, you have different offers going out every week into different areas and different regions. You can now take that file, uh, of, for example, your mail file for your ad circulars, and you can use that to power the experience in Dynamic Creative. 
So the way it works is uh, in Display Dynamic Creative, we know from your IP address what your location is, and we know your zip code, and we can use that zip code to pull content from a data feed. And in this case, it can be a direct mail file, a circular ad file, a catalog mail file, whatever it might be. Uh, so you can deliver the same offers and messaging in the display ad as you are in your offline marketing uh, to, again, deliver more consistent and relevant experiences across all channels, across online and, uh, uh, online and offline uh, marketing. Data feeds allow an advertiser to deliver truly omni-channel experiences. They can use their offline marketing files to deliver more personalized, relevant, and consistent experiences across online channels. So now we're able to deliver consistent experience across offline marketing and online advertising. I hope you found this video valuable. Thank you for your time.